Okay, let's call the meeting. Seven o'clock. All trustees, fiscal officer, road department, and the fire department is absent for the evening. Not unexcused, but absent nonetheless. And a motion out the minutes of July 2nd. I so move. I have a second that. There is a motion and a second for discussion regarding the uh, adoption of minutes of the second. Hearing that, Mayor, vote, please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Now, I entertain a motion to approve the payment of the bills in the amount of $46,168.31, broken down general fund, 25-17-15, fire fund, 18-550-74, cemetery, 316-55, EMS billing, 68-88-13, um, <coughs> Road Bridge $11,448.82 and Capital Project 4901 uh, I see something different. Okay. You're reading 4901. No, 6446. Capital, oh, Capital Fund 4901. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Okay, then, never mind. That, that was confusing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. Crockett moves and I'll just second. Any further discussion regarding paying those accounts? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. All right, and now uh, declare a public hearing open for mm -hmm. the 2019 tax budget. Uh, any and all personnel that have any questions about that budget? can come forth at this time and or for the next approximate 30 minutes. So, hear you, hear you. Uh, all right, moving along then. Correspondence for the period. That's my first <coughs> we have a letter Can we vote on that? No. It's, it's just plain done. Okay. Uh, we may or may not vote on the budget. When we're done. Okay. Apparently, uh, we had a letter out. I wrote a letter out to Ashley Kelly, World Department uh, Development of the Air, or U.S. Department of Agriculture, um, formally requesting them to consider uh, fulfilling a general obligation bond that we are having made for three hundred fifty thousand dollars, as we discussed in the prior meeting. Uh, he, we have a response from him for that. Uh, I'll get into that in the fire department just because it's the full floor a little bit easier. Um, I have a uh, note from uh, Lisa Creer about the um, economic sustainability meeting and a break that they have in August. Uh, a note from uh, uh, Teresa Wise of the uh, MVRPC about the TAC meeting that's on. I uh, hope you got a copy of that, Don, because hopefully the system is controlling now. Uh, it's on the 19th. Be, what's the during the day? Uh, yeah, they're almost 1.30. Okay. Uh, in late, in, have an engagement letter from MVRP, or MVRPC, from Dinsmore and Shoal in Cincinnati regarding uh, the uh, procurement of that general obligation bond that was just referred to. Um, an invitation from uh, Kathy Dennis for a, uh, an event, which actually is passed on Friday for the Little Miami Sink River uh, celebration. I did attend that. Good job. Thank you. I was hoping somebody did that. could not make it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, probably will. That's uh, we have some correspondence from our PCC about the executive committee meeting tomorrow afternoon. More Ashley Kelly, I might as well do that at the same time. Uh, we have a, uh, an announcement on the Ohio Conference on Freight coming up on the 15th, 17th. That's generally not within our general realm of interest. Unless you really want to go down and listen about freight. Uh, we have Ohio Township Association legislative alerts for the period of 7 and 13. Uh, they're on break, so there's not a whole lot in there. Uh, a little more back and forth 
forum at New York PC about the designee, designees for PNC and board. Um, Just clarifying the, mm -hmm. the new designee. Mm -hmm. Announcement from Melissa Hall, uh, Health Department uh, Director of upcoming meeting. Um, it happened last week. Okay. Uh, this one we need to talk about the fire and then uh, get more information about the executive meeting tomorrow. The regional plan. Any further correspondence uh, in or out this evening? Hearing none, we'll move to the fire department. I don't have anything. report. Um, it's quite short. We had hoped to have a meeting uh, either today or on Thursday uh, with the architect and with the uh, USDA representative about um, restructuring the, the bid and what would probably be necessary to be cut or changed or funds added, but uh, MSA is, was not prepared uh, to make definitive discussions, definitive recommendations for changes uh, at those meetings, and USDA decided that uh, they didn't want to uh, make the trip for a meeting that wasn't going to really produce much substantial results. So, Ashley had... Uh, sent a message and suggested that he would hold off on participating in a meeting until MSA felt that they were uh, ready to uh, actually get some stuff done. But good idea. So, um, had a little conversation with Nestor uh, from MSA about uh, what the best way to proceed was. And that was kind of determined that they needed, they wanted to get their uh, their estimator, their cost estimator, at this meeting uh, in order to speed things along and be a little more definite as to what would affect the price of what and, and the different options. So I heard back from him today saying that they were they are prepared to meet with us and the estimator and everybody else and the USD if he wants to come next uh, Wednesday or Thursday and asked us uh, if either of those dates would work and if they did you know what times um, my only response to him was a check and did they want to meet here or in Cincinnati so, you had mentioned that you're going to have a conflict with one of those days. I, well, I'm, it's in flux, but I'm currently planning to be gone all day, on the road, all day Wednesday. Mm -hmm. like to be north of Dayton at 1 p.m. Thursday. But I would give this priority, and if I had enough notice, I could change. Wednesday. I can't change the Thursday afternoon. I can skip the Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I would go for Thursday. Okay. Um, and if it was early in the you know, like nine in the morning on Thursday, mm -hmm. then I could probably get back to Dayton mm -hmm. in time. Okay. Well, you have conflicts other time of days. All right, obviously I haven't talked to Colin or Denny about their availability, but we'll tomorrow and then get back with Dan and let us know what the best time is going to be. Does that include me? Um, I don't know. Not for Cincinnati, maybe for here. Well, I, I do have commitments all week, but you know. Okay. So. If it's raining, I don't. <laughs> uh, well, I repeat, I can I can change the Wednesday, mm -hmm. but it would be uh, my 
Thursday is Wednesday. Thursday is Wednesday. And then I need to advance. Actually, I can't change the Wednesday. I see. <laughs> so, but you're theoretically good Thursday a.m.? Yeah, and, 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 the, and the p.m. is not, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. <coughs> if I couldn't do it or got, got there late. Okay, but if you need to go to Cincinnati. Right, I understand. We're still good? Yep. Okay, all right. An hour and a half away yeah. from Katie. Right. So. All right, well then we'll work on that and, and uh, go from there. So, unless somebody has something else about what's going on out there. Nothing's going on out there. Right. <laughs> We're mowing. We are keeping that nicely mowed though, aren't we, Dan? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> That's the way we like it. Whatever that is. <laughs> Uh, What's the address? One, 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 zero, zero, one. Yeah, that. Yeah. That place. Okay, Mr. Sexton. We've had one burial since the last meeting, and that was the Ashes and Clifton. So there's not much activity. Saturday? Yeah. Ready to do that? Yes. Go all right? Yes. I'm going. Good. Yeah, so it's really half hour late. Since we've had budget in front of us, that means $650? One is $300 fraction. $300 fraction. On Saturday. Yes. What? I have it to my door. Okay. It's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have an estimate yet. I want to concrete the You don't have any one? Or you don't have <laughs> I haven't got any. Okay. So I'll keep at it. It's not going anywhere. On the sidewalk, did you say? That's a small part. Sidewalk? Yeah. Yeah. Like what? It's the approach we've been accepted on. Any further thoughts on how you're going to attack the potential water leak? Um, well, I'm going to look for it. I'll get a chance to see it. Now, can... I don't know. I don't know if they can look. If they can I was going to say, can those utility people? I'm, I'll what's ask them. I haven't asked them yet. I'm going to find out. What's the issue here? We've got a leak in the water line. Yeah, well, when we turn it on to feed the faucets out in the cemetery, there's four, four faucets. Three off of that line? Three in the big one, yeah. Yeah, and we have a leak, so it's not too far from the valve. I mean, it's obviously right on the edge of the road because that's where it comes up. So. Mm -hmm. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to kind of open it up. And I, uh, I think that the word is unlocked. <coughs> is the leak on? Um... Hi. Hey, how you doing? All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't have a certain answer to have a meeting. We are. Okay, yeah. so I don't have a certain. But, but I, I came by here earlier. Um, asked a question, and this is something about um, she come back here in a few minutes. Yeah, when he got a call, probably. Okay. Do you know what? So anyway, the, you know, we've shut the water off, and the feeds yeah, it, it, it into the, the gray area. I'm shooting this video. It was basically starting you know, using like I have people line with at least one visitor is not. And I was wondering <laughs> yeah. the possibility. But the water is available like, through the through the, the main cross that's up near the cross. Well, well, you just have to go from here to there. Right now, so, just so maybe one time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I just said challenging yeah. having to dig it up. Yes, it could. Time consuming. That's How many tell there's a leak? Is it wasn't reflected in the bill. Well, it it leaked. It, Is there a puddle? When the rain doesn't <laughs> when, the, when the rain doesn't come and the puddle's still there. Okay, so it's a puddle. All right, last well, right. <laughs> Yeah. We haven't quite called it late for late Glen Forest yet, but. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's funny because it, it was it showed up two years ago, and we. Put off doing anything about it, and last year last it really, year really wasn't there. <laughs> so we forgot about it, and then this spring turned that thing on, and sounds <laughs> like corrosion. Yeah. Oh, sure. Seal up and unseal. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a galvanized line. It's only it's only buried about two inches. That's one thing. It's going to be. It's, it's not going to be very deep. It's about eighteen inches. It looks like it. it maybe it's, it's, maybe it's there it is in the pit. <laughs> it looks like it's yeah. about. Well, you notice on like on uh, lanes section C, you can you can walk next to the pipe. Oh, you know, really? Is it that shallow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I That's why I like to get it shut off as early as I can in the fall. 
this one. Anyway. Okay. I'll take care of it as soon as I can. I haven't forgotten it. Um, okay, we can might as well get into the cemetery marker report. <laughs> um, Gene Payne and I uh, were out there two Saturdays ago, took out a little over 50 markers out of Glen Forest, took them out of section A, B, C, I'm not sure about the these are veteran yeah, flag holders. Yeah, these are those flag holders. Right. So you said 50, not 15. 50. 50. Um, and I took them to um, Xenia Foundry, and they're going to, um, I don't know the time schedule, but sometime soon, they're going to uh, rehab them and give them back. We'll then obviously replace them and move on with perhaps another 50, or I'll talk to Zine Foundry people and ask them what kind of quantities they, will, they, would, like to, they would like to get at the time. Um, we expect to probably be 150 out of Glen Forest total. I don't know how many there would be in Clifton if we, if we, if we went to there. Um, to be of those kind to be fixed, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at 100, 120. Yeah. The rest are the brass ones, you know, and some yeah. are still great shape, but mm -hmm. probably a hundred, at least a yeah. hundred to eighty. Ran into a little potential problem down the road, and, and I've got a, I've got a potential fix for it, but I haven't tried it. Most of them, ninety percent of them that we took out, were just st stuck the, the rod down in the ground, just shoved, just shoved down in there. Not a problem. They are not coming off of those rods. Not, I mean, they're just plain not coming off the rods. And Zenia Foundry said, well, they don't think they want to try and get them off the rods. They're just going to straighten the rods and get them back to us. Maybe good, maybe bad, I don't know. But the ones that we're going to find that are in cement are going to be a problem in as much as that's very time consuming if we got to dig those babies out of the ground in some cement form and then take them with the cement to the Zenia Foundry and then... Mm -hmm. Like they need to crack the cement off of them. Well, yeah, you could. You, you I could. Nice spot <laughs> you put and then bust it up. <laughs> and then you can, you then you can time gather time. up all the cement and put it on a tarp or something. Well, you find a spot where you can do that. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, um, but getting them out is the first problem. So I'm thinking of using the John Finn uh, car jack. Oh, that's Dan Go get our car jack. Oh, is it? Yeah, we're that. <laughs> okay. Well, I was hoping maybe we could just, you know, run that little jack chain around the, you know, marker and, and pull that baby up on the ground and then deal with it as we go along. I don't know. And you wrap your chain, take it down, and go across the top of the chain and come around under it with the back one. That's a cinch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Works for signposts. It'll pull signposts so you can yeah. pull them out of the ground. Oh, I, I was pretty sure it would, but I'd be interested to see what comes out of the ground, though, you know. <laughs> Most of them are coffee cans. Yeah. Like they took coffee cans and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Is there a reason not to simply stick them back? If, if you broke lots of concrete, there would assumably still be a rod. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason not to simply stick them back in the ground without the concrete? No, I don't think that's... Move. I mean, you, you can do that, but no way you can keep moving them. But yeah. I had a thought of cutting some triangles, like a fence post, and welding some triangles to them so that they wouldn't move very easily. Mm -hmm. Well, the welding of... Sure. The, 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 the welding is a process. Of, you know, so. It takes time. I wonder if he's a crack welder. Yeah, they cracked all over. Yep. He's really good at cracks, actually. Uh, all right, that's another story. No comment. So anyway, um, and then I went back the following day, or the day after that, and wrote down, actually they're right here, wrote down the names on the tombstones where the markers were, which now have the little orange metal flags. Oh, that's how you mark them. Mark them. Yeah, with a little flag, and went through for, and for two reasons. One, you know, in case, for whatever reasons, those flags disappeared between now and when we got the yeah. markers back, make it mighty difficult to figure out where they went. And two, to use as a cross-reference for, uh, you know, the information that we have on our 
software as to who's, who's buried, whether they're a veteran, you know, and then any you know, birth and death dates or whatever might be on the tombstone that I can add to it. As long as I'm out there, you know, I won't write it down. So in the future, we'll do that uh, as we go along, just mark down as we go, instead of going back. You know, I think it'd just be easier. I did find two graves with flags on them that are not in our system, so I'll have to go back and, and actually look in. And then two that needed some clarification or something. Do the octopus, do, do, the, uh, do they have a list, or do they just look for the markers and put them out? I believe they look for the markers, because Richard asked me if we had a list. Okay, so they obviously don't. So I printed them on our veteran list, and I think they were just doing it off the markers. Now, so if there, if there's a grave that has a veteran marker, we have nothing in the database saying they're a veteran. Mm -hmm. What, what do we do? Um, we're going to err on the side of, of veterans and put them in the database as a veteran uh, and of, of an unknown. And what's conflict. the chance that there are people in our database marked as veteran that don't have? I guess there probably is a chance, but I'm thinking it's probably a better chance that they are a veteran based on the marker but versus but some information. That is there, is there information saying they're a veteran and, and they don't have a marker? Mm, some of them probably are veterans that we don't yeah. know they're veterans. That don't have that what I understand. Yeah, we have, we have that. all of that data. We just haven't gone. We're looking for <laughs> volunteers. The reason I ask that is I did send a list of possible Eagle Scout projects mm -hmm. to Pat Skidmore, and that in it included database cross-referencing both directions, uh -huh. confirming that it, it's marked, it's in the database, and if it's in the database, does it have a mark? That's what I understood you suggesting mm -hmm. one service mm -hmm. volunteers could do. Yeah. Can they do that as a service project? This guy? For, for badges and stuff. You know, they do that. They're the project, looking for they suggestions. A service project for a reason. So I don't know how they judge whether it's enough for, to be an Eagle Scout, but I tried to list things that Chris suggested, and then I actually had some other. Uh, so the whole troop could do it as a service project, and they get credit for that. be separate, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be an Eagle Scout project. <laughs> Thank you. So it, um, at, at some time, with you know volunteer assistance, the idea is to go through the list that we have of 150 names of veterans and separate them section by section, and then double check their stones to see whether they have a marker. And if they don't, then we'll need to provide a marker for it. The total number of Graves in Glen Forest is Glen Forest by eight thousand. I gotta believe there are way more than one hundred and fifty veterans. It would mean not that we have the information, but right. somehow out there is. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's eight thousand. Cool. Eight thousand graves. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that the whole? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Yeah, that's everything. Um, whether there's anybody in the New addition, uh, and occupants, I'm not positive. I think it's, I think it's. 7,000-ish occupants mm -hmm. of 8,000 graves. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then there's, Clifton's got four and, four and five, 4,000. Total graves. You know, I think 4,000 occupants and, and 50 plus 100 God. graves. Mm. No, 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 that's got, that, no, that's too high. Okay, well, anyway. I think it's 2,200 was the, was the number I was stuck by what we had. Okay. Yeah. And there is a list of veterans, a pretty good list, you know, probably, there are probably some that aren't listed on there, but there's a pretty good list of veterans. Well, I've, I've Somewhere put, in one I've, of them papers. Julie Overton's book. Right. i put all of those names, I mean, I've marked them as veterans, the names that went in Clifton. They went around and went to the historical society and put like roses or some little plastic mm. roses out of all the veterans. And mm. There were some they put out that we never put flags out because we didn't want to. Right. So, that lead, so, so another thing is to go and, and double check 
the, the locations and everything. Now, and another thing is, since I've been here, I don't ever remember us putting a marker, a flag marker, on a grave. Oh, we, we do. Like when we bury somebody who's had honors, we know they're better and we'll put a flag or whatever. We, we won't have any flag holders. How long have we not had any flag holders? <laughs> yeah, I think it's been several years. I think Dave Hill was the last one that bought some for Clifton. Yeah. And you know, we just now basically have the family supply because we don't buy them. Hmm. That was the question. Where did they come from originally? I don't know where they got them. You order them somewhere. I mean, know. a family would. Well, I mean, you Well, now, if they say government. Uh, you say Dave, order, Dave Hillman ordered them? Hill. Hill. Dave Hill ordered some yeah, brass ones. I don't know where he got them. Yeah. And I have no idea how you know, they even asked them. As a rule, we just say we don't provide them. Family can provide one, and we'll maintain it, put the flag in for them, and that kind of stuff. They they put the cement in the coffee can and bury yeah, it. Usually, it's just they're hard. just shoved in the ground. Usually, mm -hmm. now if I put an upright government marker in or something, and they got, I'll put it in with the mm -hmm. mortar that I put around it to hold it, and it holds in place. It works out pretty good. So if you put the the, the foot marker, the brass foot marker, you know, the, the veteran marker that goes on a pre poured a pre formed right. Mm -hmm. And we sink that in the ground, take the sod out. But that doesn't come with a marker, or a marker is not no, put on that tree. No, it just came as it is. As it, that, that, that comes like it is. And then if they want a flag holder, usually the family. So that would be another thing that add, as we go along, as we're, as we're back walking these If you see a government plaque, then that they need a marker. Need a marker. And what, if they don't have one, we know that there's a plaque. We, we stick the flag just in the ground, basically, because mm -hmm. there's no holder. Mm -hmm. And some some, some uh, headstones have like their two piece, you know, the bottom base will have a hole for a flag too. We have mm -hmm. a couple of them you know, yeah. and so they don't need them. They've already got a flag or drilled into the, the hole drilled the whole flag. I don't have a price at this point, but I have asked uh, the owner of Xenia Foundry if because they made them originally and we talked about this, you know. If they could make new ones, he thought they could, he's gonna get a price on me and price for me and like quantities, but you know, I would think we had at least a hundred, you know, that we would want to have. Sure. Uh, you know, that would be more easy to tell them after we've gone through and, and you know, done this surveying of, of what we need uh, to tell them. Because I wouldn't have him make them before we knew. I think there's some in the building then. There's a couple, yeah. yeah. There's a couple. Um, he doesn't know the price. Um, and the local historical society may offer, I almost hate to say this on camera, but you know, they're talking about offering some financial assistance for the purchase of some of these new new markers. We'll get them bare and paint them ourselves? I don't know how they come. Well, no, I guess I would know how they come. They, I'm sure they would be... Already coated or could we do it ourselves to save money? I would guess they'd be primed the same way they're going to prime the ones that we're going to get. And then we paint them so... You know, well, they're going to come silver prime, so oh, we'll okay. have to take a look at them. Uh, it's some super special sticky primer. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's so fetching. Because mm. I had a thought of using the shiny silver roof cement. Non-fiber, non you know, just mm. the mm -hmm. That'll hold for a while. So I don't know. Yeah. Whatever you come up with. We'll, okay, so that's... We'll go with it. That, that's moving along, and hopefully... Uh, your connection, Don, will, uh, something will work out there because I think that's a, that's, a, that's a good quality type I of project. I think for there's me. enthusiasm. Will they put them on the rods too or will we have to do that? I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. Um, <laughs> I couldn't imagine that would be too difficult for an operation like that to be able to, <laughs> to attach them to a rod. Uh, maybe some voltage to a rod because those little mm. set screws are right. about as worthless as you know what. Mm. Uh, God is taking care of it with, with the rust, so. <coughs> okay, uh, where are we? Done with cemeteries? Sounds so. How about roads? Trying to get my ditches done. Trying to finish up my round. So How many times a year? Four times. Try to. We really need that many. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 
county recommended for. Okay. The last one's usually after like after November ish. Yeah, off because I like to make a couple passes mm -hmm. out the field where the I was thinking about it because I was on base today drifting. and they mowed so short. It was so silly. Mm -hmm. Why do they mow that short? Uh, and I haven't seen us mow short, but I was just thinking people. You know, the bridges are usually four inches and everything else is two and a half, but well, we mow it. Sometimes a little slow, but we do get it done. Can you take in a pass on Kyle Road, or is that just the end of your line? That's my move for tomorrow. That's where I broke down, so on my last round. Mm. And I started, I, done, uh, I hit Snip in Houston, of course, that flat, and then I hit the firehouse in Bryant Park. So what broke down? What broke down? The tractor, where I broke down last night. But I was headed for South River Kyle tomorrow. Kyle's tall. <laughs> yeah. A bit. Somebody's mowing a little bit more, so that'll cut down on my mowing time mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, did you know that Zot, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know his name. Barizado. Barizado. I don't know what Kyle's first name. He runs a uh, an internet service provider called Clifton Connection. I, I, I don't know that much about it, but it's it just sounds like interesting. I mean, it's literally a out of your kind of out of your garage service provider. I, I, hmm. Hmm. This, this sounds really interesting. I'm not sure where it fits in the agenda. Well, it fits in roads. Because Mr. Barazano is on one of our roads. Lives on Kyle Road. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's interested in township business Good. in the past. Um, so, um, what kind of server does he run? Internet service provider. He like a, a, a little baby servlet or Spectrum or AT and T, but in the in the in the, in the magnitude of half a dozen people. But he's mm -hmm. offering. I mean, he sells this huh. to the public. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right, since we won't want to go too far with that, didn't you say at one time one of your friendly township people connections had some way to shave off all sure. those damn bumps? One of these days, have them run, uh, run by Branham Road. Branham Lane? Or Branham Lane, I mean. See, I thought about that. Uh, Jacoby, that's what we want to do with Jacoby. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no other bumps that we could do the ones on Branham. No problem. On the road. It's okay, the same road, you know. The two roads that's true. That's right. I forgot. That's why. Right. It's, it's old yeah. concrete. That's old concrete. So we want to claim them off. But you're Sugar saying Creek has a, has a historically, plane. Branham and Jacoby have similar history. That's Route 68. That's old Route 68. Route 68. Uh, and the bridge went behind the church and the come out back out on the you know, the church. It went around behind the church and come up to Jacoby Road. And then Brandon Lane was another part of 68. And there was just cement. It's just like I'm up there at five points. Mm -hmm. know, and road. Concrete road. Expansion yeah. joints. And they, 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 we'd like to do that when we chip that road. You know, we decided to chip seal that road. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's that one. Uh, so, on, on Larkins, but, yeah. so having concrete under it is now a curse. Oh, yes. So if we could go back 50 years, maybe we could claim yes. damages against somebody. Get the Wayback Machine out. Fire the puck out. You know, one of these days you're going to have to deal with those holes on a high road. I know I'm just preaching the choir. I'll go with you. Okay. Thank you. I'll get in there. Can't get in there. Can't well, I, and I have a plan for that because Houston Road has a spot that we all yeah. fix that and we'll go around and fix everything all that week. Mm -hmm. Nobody seems to want the crack filler. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to advertise? Bill yeah. has talked about it, but we haven't talked to No, I mean, you use it tomorrow. No, they're, they're, they're getting one from, they're buying material and they get a machine for free. Yeah. And it's a newer machine. Oh. <laughs> Bill had once showed interest in maybe one dollar. We could have a workshop on how to, how to use it and we'll demonstrate it on our roads. And right. other townships could come. We really only have a couple of users on the work. Snip and hide. You're
you're in charge. Let's pick a nice hot day for that too. <laughs> yeah, a nice maybe day in November. <laughs> Keep your feet warm anyway. <laughs> All right, anything else for the road? Hearing none, let's move to this was off. This one comes to the court. Um, well, obviously, we're considering our tax budget for 2019. Okay. And um, we can chat about it now. Okay. And, you know, spend a few minutes, I think, doing that. Because I, I do need to turn it in at the end of the week. So it's not like we have another meeting to vote on it. All right. Is there any? Comments about the tax budget before us before we close the hearing? I want to make sure we're clear what we're looking at. Something was passed out earlier in the week, and then there was something available today. Not with great changes, but I just want to make sure <coughs> due diligence that we're all looking at the same piece of paper. Well, I can tell you that the changes that you're looking at uh, as of today were changes that were made to um, the salary line in uh, the general fund and in the gas tax fund since, this is for the sake of the public, since uh, the trustees and myself are paid through three different funds, the fire fund, the gas tax fund, and the general fund. and. Um, it's split according to how much time is spent on each fund, the duties of each fund, if you will. And um, so it was proposed to increase the amount of money the road department will pay for our salaries due to road and cemetery due to all the work that's done with cemetery work and all the, pay, the, all the work we do to pay attention to the roads and so forth and reduce a little bit what was being spent by the general fund. Other, other than that, um, the change, there's no other changes at this point as to what was given to you over the week, what was that, last Wednesday maybe? The 11th, I think, or something. So, anyway. Yeah, it's approximately 6000 it's just $6,500 to the to the bottom line of the general yeah, fund. Yeah. What would we would carry over so we're doing for our spring? Um, Makes our fiscal health look just that much better. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that was my only point. And, um, <coughs> Mark, I, do you have anything? Um, this is. I'm sorry. No, no, I, 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 you know, now's a good time where we can, you know, I don't know what else to do it, really. We need to, we need to do some adopting, so. Yeah. Uh, can we do some adopting contingent upon something? It's fine with me. <laughs> is, that in the, is that in the rule book? The old oh, you're asking me about rules? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the old fist officer's uh, rule book. Yeah, my rule book is up. Um, would, would you <laughs> consider... Blank pages. Would you consider reviewing something for me? Absolutely. Okay. We, we talked about the, uh, the the general fund, the cemetery, others, the yes. um, A6 that's there, or the 13 that you've got? The 13 in contractor services, and I'm trying to remember why, I mean, I didn't pull that number, like, you know, out of the sky, so I'm trying to remember why we even had that kind of number there. Okay, well. At one point, it might have been. No, I, I really. Okay, we'll figure it out. The lines that are combined to add to get to this one here. If you would run those, a uh, report on those. Uh, the cemetery, the, the cemetery and the general fund. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you run a report on that mm -hmm. for the invoices that you paid or the vendors that you paid, and if you would mm -hmm. separate out any that are Clifton, or I should say any that are Glen Forest instead of Clifton, because that line is supposed to be the Clifton line. That is strictly a Clifton line. Okay, if there's anything that's not 100% Clifton, mm -hmm. we'll take that off of the $8,600 estimate, and then when we put it in, we can put it operating supplies or wherever it goes in, in the 4206, whatever, cemetery. 24, well, yeah. Okay. Why does this come up? Because there's already a huge drop. <coughs> Well, look, look what there was the year before. Oh, yes. So I'm trying to figure out why there's such a big hump, and 
if there's any way to get around having to spend eighty six hundred dollars, and if, if, you know, if I can, if, if we can get that back into our revenue pot, that would be and that's even Clifton, better. that's Clifton Cemetery. It is yes. Clifton Cemetery. It's supposed to be. Yeah, and I mean, the, where, where do you guys see? What do you, what's the eighty six hundred? Where is that in the in the budget? Twenty nineteen estimate. Right. That. And I, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm gonna look at that. But I think it's um because we spent. Well, anyway, I'll look it up and, okay. uh, and I'll, I'll we'll hammer that out because so basically we want to do our best to reduce our expenditures in the general fund. And yep. Yeah. So and, contingent upon any of those changes, I'd entertain an offer. An offer. Oh. A motion to uh, adopt. Tax budget uh, 2019. Right, unless any, there's no, nobody has any questions about any of the other uh, proposed budget numbers and any of the other funds, right? I don't. I don't. Uh, Margaret spent half an hour with me this morning going over this. Crunched it. Explaining it, it to me. To, to so get uh, to these I, I move adoption with that. Uh, Possible to Uncertainty me. on the one line item. Okay. There a second. I will second that. Okay. Any further discussion? How we handle any change? I mean, well, certainly. We could constantly. formally agree about all this, but legally, Robert's rule of order and all that, we, we've got an open door here. Well, we've discussed what basically what line in particular mm -hmm. that it may be changed. That can be noted, and I think that with that that covers it pretty much. It's one line. So it. So, so I, I mean, in the know, long run, what it what really counts is what the auditor does in the hearing. In the senior, when they look at this and they say yes or no. Right. Well, what they do is when they after they after we do the hearing, then they, um, they'll have a chat amongst themselves about it, and then they will determine what our expected revenues can be for 2019 tax budget wise and they'll notify us later on it doesn't have nothing happens right at that moment they ba they basically adopt they ba actually i take that back they do adopt what we present at that time they'll have a little quickie vote but i've not really come I've come across any major you know changes i'm comfortable I'm just saying legally, we just voted on something with an open ended line on it. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Okay. <laughs> or we're about to vote on something with an open ended Yeah, yeah we hadn't voted yet. Yeah. But it's either that or you know, it would have to be worth um, you know, a special meeting before the okay. 20th. Or could, could we read, could we change the motion to say we approve this? Uh, at 8600 or less. Fine with me. That's that's safe. But we certainly won't increase it. And any decrease, <laughs> and, and any, any decrease would be would be welcome mm -hmm. and accepted. Yes. Okay. All right. Motion's been changed. Is there a motion to? And I will I will I'll actually you know, write what, what line item we're talking about. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Yeah, I do. You do, not a second. You do. I hear one. I hear it. Second. Hearing that, may we vote, please? Is meeting Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Manager? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, have, you have a resolution? I do have a resolution. Okay. And um, before we get to that little quickie thing, um, mm -hmm. I just have a quick um, some piece of information for you about our uh, our relationship with at and and I have uh, been on the phone with them almost every two weeks when they do bills to discuss something. And it's been a, it's a, um, as anybody who knows tries to talk to at and we have several different accounts and there's different people that you have to talk to for different kinds of accounts. Um, and I have, um, I have set up two of our accounts, uh, which is all of our like landlines to be automatically taken out of our checking account 
uh, because the timeliness of when we would receive their invoices and when sometimes we would get them paid on time, we could, depending on, because we only meet twice a month, things would fall through the cracks, we'd get fit, charged with a $5 late fee, and then I'd call them and say, please excuse us because we do the best we can, we always pay our bills, yada, yada, all this stuff. Anyway, so it just seemed like it would just be better at this time to just, we, we do this with our health insurance payments, premiums, and um, our dental, and that's pretty much it. Everything else is, um, you know, we, we, we see the invoice and so forth before we pay it, and I, I prefer that, but this these bills shouldn't change too often or anything, and it's just been a real difficult time to, anyway, it's been a hassle. So there's that, and then, um, but I can we can change that if you want, but I think, I think that's just, it's just better for right now. And then we have two AT&T accounts. One is a, a, a internet service that is provided to the Township Garage and a tablet that we pay for every month. And um, I would, was, would propose that you consider dropping both of those accounts because I don't think they're used <laughs> at all and we're paying nearly $80 a month for these two things. Now the tablet was offered as a promotional option to save money on the I think the internet service to be provided at the garage. No. No, what was it for? For all the lines combined it was meant to save $175. Oh, you mean like the 2460 and the 781? Okay, okay. Well, I wasn't sure. Well, um, and it was for two years. I don't know. Right, right. There was a contracted period, and you know, you would pay, uh, you had to pay a penalty if you exited out of the contract prior to its expiration, which is due in December, um, is the end of the contract. And we're paying right now, um, I think, what is it, $32 a month? Well, anyway, it's written, no, it's 40 some dollars a month. And um, <clears throat> for the tablet thing, and we could pay $78 and get out of it now. And um, in the long run, it's going to save us some money. I mean, we're in July, so August, you know, four months, it'll save us a little bit of money. Uh, and it's just one less bill that I have to deal with with AT&T because it's just, again, it's just, it's just I, sometimes we can get the bills in on time, other times it's late. And I, it's a big hassle. So it's just something to consider. We don't have to do it tonight, but. Um. So you want a motion to cancel <coughs> something? Um, well, we can't really cancel the internet, um, the UVerse thing, if it's internet provided. But I mean, I don't use it on my phone. Oh, I guess I do for my computer, right? What? Is that how we get our internet in the office? Is through that UVerse thing, and then. No, but you wanted to cancel at the. Sh the garage, two things. Well, I thought it was it was garage related, but I guess it's not. Right. I don't the, know. What... The internet service for the garage is there, and I would prefer that that stay there at least for the time being. You know, hope springs eternal that we'll get that system up and running. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to use. Uh, okay, sure. Well, I, you know, I, I didn't. I, I I wanted to. But the tablet. Um, you know, I didn't want the thing to begin with. Mm -hmm. I, I know, it was, and I don't think it's getting much use, and I guess we'd have to return it. I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's right <laughs> on our desk. I mean, it's, it's sitting right okay. there. All right, well, you know, it would save a couple of bucks and be one less bill that I have to chase down at t but whatever. I mean, you're more than welcome to. That's not a me. It won't be really a motion, I don't think, but just a conversation. Just just do, it. do it on the tablet thing, okay. Um, but. But then, uh, that being said, um, I do have a resolution, and it is Resolution 2018-31, Amendment of Permanent Appropriations, whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize amendments to the following permanent appropriations, and these are hefty um, amendments. In the gas tax fund, I increase repairs and maintenance by $5,000, basically because um, there's been a lot of repair work done this year and um, there wasn't enough money at all to yeah, cover the, trucks are running. Yes, um, to pay for the, was it, 3000 plus dollars. Um, so anyway, that, so it'll cover that and give us a little more room for something else that breaks down just in case. And, and um, EMS billing, 
Um, again, this was um, the operating supplies that was below a thousand dollars, and to cut the purchase order, which was four forty three hundred dollars for the Lucas Luca. Lucas. Um, what is uh, it? Whatever. Automatic CPR device. Right, right, right. Um, even though, uh, yeah, even though the uh, there was a contribution of ten thousand dollars towards that, they, 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 we still owed forty three hundred, and so I just. And we're we're you know, we're just a little over halfway through the year, so I, I that's why it's ten thousand dollars and you missed billing, so mm -hmm. there you go. I just I'd let you know. Oh, I'm sorry, what number is the resolution? Twenty eighteen dash thirty one. Thirty one. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to approve twenty eighteen thirty one from the form? I'll make that motion. Mr. Bob, second. Charles for seconds. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing none, maybe vote. Minister Meester? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you. I don't really have any other questions, although I did think of one thing while we we're talking cemetery is that did you by chance get a, did you get to look at the, the engraving stone to make sure that all the names that were Yes I did. Okay. So then did you not meet with Mrs. Payne who what is that who you were talking you were you were doing the cemetery stuff with? Yes. She's the party that yes. had a, two right. names put and uh -huh. I think there's and a balance due on those mm -hmm. those did you mention that to her? Yes, yeah, she had said she was going to be here last Thursday and make that payment. So okay. I guess I'll have to remind her. Well, we can. Yeah, just just that since I thought yeah. I had asked you. So. Yeah. No, I actually followed up on that. Okay. Day after we had Great. Yeah, I, I thought you did, but mm -hmm. you know, I just not thought of it. So okay. Um, over and out. <laughs> did Did you let Larry or what's her name Sue? God's about the mm -hmm. Dan, about the reader person, the most recent grass scattering. No, I have to call that the cold and about reader. That's good. You gave me the three by card, three by five card with it, his name and, and information. Yeah, I, I got it written down too. Yeah, okay. I wrote that off that card. I copied it. So, so I did you. So, I so that and Fugit. Do they know about that one? Yeah, they know about Fugit, oh, okay. but not reader. All right. I'll call there. Have they been up there? Have they done that you? Not those, but okay. the other ones. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be on the next round. Okay. Um, both the both the sites name, the reader, and the period will be on the next round. Okay. You get comes before reader. Sites, sites. You get reader. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's not supposed to be in order. First come, first serve, yeah. I thought it would. I don't know. I would right. start. Yeah. So there's not a date next to when these folks are? Yeah. No, yeah, well, that's. That's why I thought you would have them in order. Mm -hmm. Well. Not alphabetical, but by dates. You know. yeah. March, April, 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 Some people keep these ashes for a long time, you know, and then perhaps decide before it gets too late that they want to memorialize the, 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 the particular loved one. Well, you know, they may have passed away 10 years prior or whatever. And so it's not the date, it's the final date, not the date when you put the ashes out. It's their final date. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. All right, anything else for Chris Buxer? Hearing none, may we move to. <coughs> Zoning? Uh, anything for zoning? Yeah. This part of the month. All right, I have two things. Uh, one is I haven't heard anything further about the zoning question we had at our last meeting about um, Stony Brook. Stony Brook. Couldn't get the last name on it. Mm -hmm. So well, maybe we'll hear further in the next time. Um, I have heard from, remember Richard remarked that the Zoning Commission was making uh, recommendations for an additional set of recommendations to remove uh, both R2 multifamily and uh, R3 multi-multifamily and PUD zone from our zoning code. Mm -hmm. uh, that has gone to regional planning for review and is on the agenda for tomorrow for the executive uh, board meeting. Uh, of course, I'll have to abstain from that, but probably uh, participate in the discussion. And I do have an advanced copy of the recommendation, and as we talked about at the meeting, 
uh, regional planning uh, will be recommending that the, 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 that the PUD not be removed. So, uh, but what about our? They in, are in agreement in that those are just silly. But that's all the zoning I had uh, for the evening. So we'll then move to uh, standing committee reports. Um, Pretty much for last month, uh, RPCC, uh, MVRPC did not meet, so I don't really have anything for that. The uh, RPCC meeting in June was more or less a uh, final wrap up and uh, going away uh, for Ken LeBlanc, the executive director who retired as of the 6th, and was replaced by Devin Shoemaker, who we hired um, as a replacement. Uh, Devin is on board and working hard speak. Grinnell Mill seems to be going along. Okay. And anything on your Environmental Sustainability Commission, Mark? Or the senior center um, is going on? No, I didn't. Um, at the senior center, I was just going to check the date, but I think it's August 15th, which is a Wednesday. Mac and the Rockets are playing for an event. Mac and the Rockets are back? Yeah. Holy yeah. mackerel. Senior Center. I mean, um, for Green County Council on Aging. So, so that's an event. That's big news there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I did attend the uh, last meeting of the Mm -hmm. um, good conversation right now, but uh, that's it. All right. And yeah. you, let's see, you haven't done any nothing from the cemetery. Cemetery work, right? Okay. Um, any new business before the board this evening? <clears throat> business? Good old business. We've kind of done old business as we went along. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could have separated half of that in old business, but we did. All right. There's nothing else before the board. I entertain a motion to adjourn precisely 759. <laughs> I so move. I second that. Second, we are adjourned by a commissioner. Mm -hmm.